Hey everybody, Jedi Jack Luther. It's a Monday night, and we got something in the mail, and it happens to be a box. So when we get one of these, there's only one thing we do. We need to put on a show, and the name of that show, BAM, what's in the box. So once again, our benefactors from eBay have sent us a package, and we're gonna tear into it. I know, uh, I gave the uh, trusty, rusty Zacto knife the night off, of all nights to give them off. Alright, so back about, I want to say about 2007-2008, Transformers was going through a new surge of trying to redevelop their product. And what they were coming up with was um, the Energon theme. And what the theme was, was um, they had these vehicles... They were just Transformers, but they had the Autobot and Decepticon logos raised in a little crystal. And they came with this little chip that fit over it. And the object of it was that the little chip represented they found Energon. And when they got Energon, they created Energon weapons, which they came with translucent colored plastic pieces that represent these energy weapons. And Tom Sip wasn't the best one on the planet. It was decent. You know, I don't say it's the worst, but um, they were trying to throw in play value for kids, yet still appeal to the adult collector who remembered Transformers when they were a kid. Um, one of the things that spawned were um, these a new wave of combiner figures. They went back to having Devastator, Bruticus, Superion. So they developed these core characters that have a main robot, a big robot, and then four other robots, much like they did in the 80s. But to kind to, to, to keep money down and not spend so much, um, instead of four different vehicles, it was two vehicles that have duplicates of each other cast in different colors. Um, the, more, the most popular one was, of course, Devastator. Everyone, he was the first one ever made as in G1, so we all loved him growing up. So they did him. The thing was is that the main character was not this... Because um, Devastator originally was six robots. They were all the same size, and Scrapper was the leader. Um, but in this one, they made a giant steam shovel the leader and he came with two front loaders and two cranes and they were all different colors so when you made Devastator he was very colorful he wasn't he didn't look like what Devastator would look like well Walmart came out with a gift set of all the robots in one shot colored in G1 coloring the light green and the uh, the dark purple and renamed it uh, the Constructicon Devastator, because the other one was Devastator Maximus. They changed the name and tried to make it as G1 as possible. So, and by the way, the Energon characters in this set are extremely hard to come by. Um, they are very expensive on eBay. When they released the Steam Shovel and the, and the one front loader and the one crane, they were very easy to find. They were in plenitude. But the second ones that were colored differently, well, because these loaded up the shelves, they never got out. So the last two became very rare and hard to find. So a, so a Devastator Maximus, all the characters together, is very expensive. This set is very expensive. Mint in box easily can clear 100 bucks. Uh, this one I got really cheap because the person had taken them out of the box, displayed them, put them back in the box and sold it like that. So it wasn't mint and package, which I wasn't really particularly concerned about. But here we are, here's the set, and the whole box is 
the Constructicon Devastator set. All five robots merge to make Devastator. Um, let me get this out of here so you can see it a little bit better. And of course, he just kind of got him in there the best he can here. This is a little bit better. That way, the light is not, the pieces are falling out. Um, all five robots, they're all their Energon weapons and all their Energon chips. Excuse me, I gotta rescue a piece. Um, are in there to form the robot. And I have more than enough time. So instead of just showing you this, we're going to build it. And I've had this set before. This was a set I had in the past. And it was one of my favorite sets. And due to when we moved, a lot of my stuff got sold. It got shifted around. Um, we just had to make room for when we moved. Um, so I lost this whole set. I had ordered, I originally ordered this. This was a Walmart exclusive. I originally ordered this from Walmart, got delivered to me, absolutely loved it, and it just accidentally it just got sold and it shouldn't have. And when I tried to look it back up later on, and to give you an idea, I got this set roughly in 2008. Two years later, it's going for over $100 on eBay within just two years. Most sets don't get that kind of, and this was a $25 set, $25, $30 set. And within two years, it jumped that high. So, um, I'm going to give me a minute here because I basically, sorry, there's a bug flying around here. He was all over my screen. Don't you hate when you're trying to do a live program and you're trying to transform something? Now, just to show you that I've had this set before, I haven't pulled the instructions, and I've already got the body into into them. I mean, talk about memory. I can't remember half I learned in in college. This is how bad this is. Half of what I learned in college, yet a robot I haven't had in years, and I can put them back together like it hasn't been a day. That is that is horribly sad. Um, say that now and see if I can get the arms and legs on here. Um, and for all of you out there that should know by now, um, coming out, pre-orders are already started. But coming out in... I believe it's August 1st. Don't quote me, but I'm believing it's August 1st. Um, is the brand new Devastator from the Combiner Wars. Which I plan on hoping to have because that Devastator will beat this Devastator by a mile but I love the character so much I don't mind having different alterations of him. Sorry if I pause but I'm trying to remember 
I know people are going to be screaming at me, pull out the instruction booklet. Like, I'm, I'm far beyond that. Hope everyone's having a good Monday, having a good week. We're heading into 4th of July. Trying to make some cozy talk why. Alrighty. And there he is. It's very rough. I'm sure I have to work out some of the more intricate details on this. But basically, that's it. Like I said, these characters came with double, you know, soldiers. So you had two front loaders, you had two cranes, and then you had the central character who was the body. Bruticus, the same way. Bruticus came with two, two tanks and two jets, and Superion came with, two, with one set of planes and another set of planes. So Hasbro wanted to give you something kind of cool, but at the same time save a little bit of money by not having as many molds. Um, this is the best figure out of the whole Energon series and out of all three of the robots they made for this series it is the one that stands up the best it has pretty good balance um, there's a lot of parts in this so if he falls he's gonna fall apart but that's that's the way it goes um, the boxes can you know I have instructions I have the Energon ships even in so this thing came out pretty complete. Um, but here we go. So this is Constructicon Devastator. Um, what I really like about him, one of my favorite things about him is that head of the main robot. It's got a really cool look to it. Just always something that's always struck me. Um, but there are, there are some flaws I kind of have to point out. Um, the head kind of looks like it nods off to the side because there's no support on the left side of it there. Um, and not a lot of joint articulation. You really can't do a lot. These arms are stuck. There's a fix to it. I plan on, I had that on a, U, I saw someone put that on YouTube. There's a fix to that that kind of makes them a little bit more mobile at the top. But all in all, for all his the smaller flaws, this is a decent, this is a very good showpiece. And until you get the big Devastator, if you can get this for under 50 bucks, it's a pretty good deal. The only other one I saw that was cheap was one where they were all loose with no box, no instruction. He was selling it for roughly $35 and like another 16 for shipping. And that's like um, $51. And I got this for, this one originally was 45, but everyone was watching it, no one jumped on it. He shipped, put down to 42, free shipping, bam, I jumped on it. Because you're not gonna get any cheaper than that. That was the cheapest, if you didn't, you know, so I jumped when I could. Um, and I'm glad I did, because the other ones were well above 100, mint and box. So if you can get them under 50, if you don't have him, or you saw him and you thought, wow, this is cool, and he, you're, he's gone, you can't get him. If you can get him under 50, I'd jump on this until the Combiner Wars one comes out. And then you have a massively huge Devastator. That thing is massively huge. Um, I've, I've asked Santa Claus for it for Christmas. Oh, my timer's running out. I'm at 14 or something, so i got to get going or else I can't load this video. So it's Monday night. What was in the box? Constructicon Devastator. We put them together right here on the show. Um, probably have another box maybe in a few weeks. You never know. But until then, I'll see you next time. I'm probably the best show on the planet. What's in the box? Shabam!